Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and in this video, I'm going to show you a very useful tip when working with MIDI. Taking a look at this session here, I have a guitar track up top with a few tracks being triggered from the cue page, and you can see what that looks like here. Now I've made a few EQ adjustments to the low end, just kind of boost up the bass and the kick drum. And over on the mixer page, I have the tracks being sent to buses with a little bit of tape saturation applied and some compression on the tracks. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Okay, so this is a pretty good bass line right here, but there needs to be a little bit of variation going on. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how MIDI regions are linked together by default. So if I edit one, it's automatically going to edit all the other ones that it's linked to. So I'm gonna to go to the second MIDI region here, and let's do a little bit of editing. I'm gonna to go to my internal edit mode and shorten this up and shorten this one up. We can customize the MIDI links up here on the top. So we can set the length, a certain channel, and also the velocity. I'm just gonna leave the channel and velocity to auto. And I'm gonna set the link to an eighth note. So there's an E and there's a D. So let's check this out now. But you can see what happened there. When I edited the second region, it also affected the first, third, and fourth regions. And that's not exactly what I wanted to do. So first, let me show you how to unlink these regions, and then I'll show you where to change the default setting. So I pretty much want all these to be unlinked at this point. So in grab mode, I'm gonna go ahead and select these, and then I can right click and go to selected regions, down to MIDI, and unlink from other copies. And the shortcut for that is Shift U, which is a new shortcut we added here in 8.1. So now that I know the shortcut, I can just press Shift U, and you can see that the naming scheme has also changed. Instead of 1.1, 1.2, and so on, that one point series has gone away, and it just says Synth 3, Synth 2, and Synth 1. So now with these unlinked, I can go back in and do a little bit of editing. So I'll shorten up this note. We'll go ahead and add our E and our D. And I'll make this one an eighth note as well. And now you can see that the other regions are unaffected and I've only changed the notes on this second region. So let's go ahead and take a listen now. Oh yeah, that groove is sick. And now the default setting for this can be found under session properties and you can hit control zero to get there. So looking under MIDI options, we can see that there's a MIDI region copies are independent. We want to go ahead and check that off. Now this default setting might be changed in a future update. So if you prefer working where they are linked by default, this is where you go to turn that back on. So depending on how you like to work, you can always get back to your preferred setting. But just remember, turning this on now will only affect new regions being added and won't affect the regions that are currently in your session. So if you've already made a lot of regions and you want this feature turned off, then I highly suggest highlighting all the regions and hitting Shift U to unlink all the regions. If you want to learn more about Mixbus 32C, then go ahead and like, subscribe, and click the bell down below. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, that groove is sick.